what else we got okay well this is a very nice sweater very sparkly that's for sure it looks like a um, lilac very light lilac color schneel looking very sparkly oh I thought this was going to be painted but this is actually an embroidered sort of uh, looks like a snowflake I mean it would make sense for it being a sweater for the cold and it has little pockets yeah so that doll can put her hands in there it's really nice it didn't look as nice on, on the website. I wasn't sure about ta getting this uh, sweater. But I went ahead and I thought, oh well, you know, it doesn't really cost that much. I really won't lose out. And here it is. It has a little sort of hoodie. Oh, look. There's a back button. So I guess if she has a ponytail, you could slip the ponytail through her hoodie that way her hair doesn't squish around her face there's two buttons there um, I'm not sure if it's for the hair but it's on the hoodie area so I'm supposing it's for the hair to allow her ponytail through if she has one and then this just like the last sweater that I showed has buttons to open and close the back part of the sweater it's a very nice, very thick fabric, and in a very sparkly material, which I like. Here, this is probably another costume. For again, another Mike Flynn um, doll in the future. Don't know yet. It's supposed to be... I'm not sure what it's supposed to be, like... Maybe another type of witch costume. It has a spider there. It has a sleeves, maybe a queen sort of sort of outfit. It looks kinda like uh hmm, like the queen from Snow White or something like that. Sort of that black trim. Like the evil witch. It's sort of a velvet make, the whole material. Well, here I don't know what this is, but it looks like nylon, and the rest is velvet. Pretty heavy, pretty heavy too. I don't know if you could tell. Let me see, move it this way. I'm sure it looks better on. Okay. The empty plastic bags, which are many. Let's see what else we got here. Oh, there's a tape on this side. Okay. Again, forgive me for the camera moving about like crazy. This shirt was probably the one of the first items that I got on the website. Because I love the way it has the little flowers and the little buttons. They're like yeah, little yellow mustard buttons. And that's blue and green and white. And the shirt's a long red sleeve shirt. I think this will look nice with um, the jeans with the flowers running along. Because they kind of have the same color as this top. This is a peace hoodie shirt. It has a peace sign that's not embroidered. Probably, I don't know, painted on the shirt. And this too, that's not embroidered. Uh, okay. It has long sleeves. It has a little hoodie.
And this one, it's all Velcro. All Velcro all the way to the, the end. It says peace. Little working pocket. That looks really nice. Color pink. Okay, here are sort of like yoga pants or probably leggings. They're a dark gray, not completely black, but they're like a dark gray. That's supposed to go with, um, I think, the hoodie, the pink hoodie that I just showed you right now. That's the outfit. Minus the shoes. I don't think any of these outfits come with shoes except one. So I'm going to have to look back on the website and get her some pair of shoes or otherwise she's going to run around barefoot. There's a skirt that I got. Look. I think my camera momentarily stopped when I was trying to open the package. But here's a skirt. It's like a little flounced skirt has a sort of little ruffling thing on the bottom has uh, white lined squares it has a little button it has little loops for a belt if I should choose to put a belt but it looks too small and tight to put a belt I think that's just for decoration but it's a nice cute little skirt it could go a lot I mean black goes with pretty much everything. Okay. Let's see what else we have. We're almost done. That was a long video. What is it? Oh, okay. This is supposed to be like one of the skirts. It's black. It's supposed to be like a flounce sort of skirt or bubble skirt, I think. But, um, it's real thick. It's got a lot of material to it. It's got um, this hard netting. So it's going to make it, you know, sort of poof up, poof out. So that's the square, the sweater. It has some sort of um, pattern to it. I'm not sure what it is. It has like little swirls and leaves like flowers but it's really hard to tell even without the camera I mean it looks pitch black from where you're looking at but from where I'm looking it looks like little flowers with leaves and little swirls but it's really light One of the last things that I chose was this little hoodie. I saw one of the My Twin videos that the company makes on YouTube. And one of the dolls was wearing this sweater. And I thought, wow, that looks really cute on the doll. I think it looks cute on my doll. It has this little embroidered logo. This is My Twin with a little heart on the eye. Blue trim. Which... I didn't notice it was blue until I actually saw a video on the website. I thought it, I assumed it was green. I really didn't pay attention to it. Kind of want to overlook this hoodie until I saw the video and I thought this is a nice hoodie. I must have it. And it has pink trim on here with white. And that's another hoodie sweater that I got my doll. And then I got this box. This is probably one of the outfits that I ordered. Another costume for when ever it's Halloween. So, if I can, maybe I'll have three of my twin dolls by the time Halloween arrives. Don't know yet. I have to really want the doll to get it. I think, I believe this is the one costume, the one outfit 
Okay, that's how to yep. there's the shoe. Okay. So here's the shoe. I don't know what kind of shoe that would be. It's nice. It looks uh it's supposed to be colonial. A colonial sort of shoe, you could tell. The shape really looks like a colonial type of shoe. So that's another shoe right there. Comes with either socks or tights. I'll open that later. And then it comes with the dress. Oh wait, let me show the bonnet. Comes with this bonnet. Very soft material. Has the same patterning material on the trim of the bonnet. With little ribbons. Pretty thick ribbons. You could tie around her head. And then here's the dress itself. Colonial. See, it has this unusual blue trim. I don't know what that's supposed to be, but like leaves, I, I suppose. Little pods on the leaves. I don't know. Then it has little underlaid skirt at the bottom. Knitting to spread out the dress when the doll wears it. Keep bows. And then that's the back side. So I'm going to take some pictures of my doll wearing some of the clothes. And then I'll post that as soon as I'm done. Thank you for watching. Bye.